Hi, I'm Dr. Christy Wan, Professor of Finance in the Rollins College of Business at UTC. Do you enjoy working with numbers? Do you do well in math? Do you manage your money wisely? Or do you want to own your own business one day? If that sounds like you, you should consider getting a finance degree. You could become a financial analyst, financial advisor, portfolio manager, banker, and much more. Did you know that the median annual salary of financial managers in 2020 was about $81,590? The pay is really good, but remember, you've got to love what you do. Another great thing about studying finance is that you learn how to manage your money better and how to help your family members with their money. According to the Bureau of Labor Statistics, employment of financial managers and financial analysts is projected to grow between 11 to 19 percent from 2016 to 2026, which is faster than the average for all occupations. Also, compared to those who don't go to college, college graduates earned over a million dollars more during a lifetime of working. And the rate of return on a college education is estimated to be between 15.9% to 18.25%. Wow, that's an awesome rate of return. Even if you don't want to major in finance, learning personal financial skills will help you get what you want out of life, whether it be a new car, a house, or an early retirement. Let's put this in perspective. Do you know what compound interest is? You can earn compound interest by investing your money, say in the bank or in the stock market, and then you earn interest on interest. For example, let's say that you spend about $36 a week on eating out. If instead you could invest that $36 a week at 7% interest for 30 years, you would have $193,489. Another example is shown here, and this just shows what happens when you invest $10,000 a year for 40 years and earn about 3% interest. You could end up with almost $800,000. If you see in the purple, that's the interest that you're earning, and it grows exponentially over time because you're earning interest on interest. There was a survey of people who had, had at least $25 million in assets, and they were asked which of the following were factors in becoming so rich. They said that hard work and education were the top two factors. Another survey found that 68% of extremely wealthy people were self-made, meaning they started with nothing and earned their way to the top. You may think that this information only applies to men. However, there was a study focusing on women that found that 60% of wealthy women earned their own fortunes, and 45% of American millionaires are women. Women also owned about 10.1 million companies, and they employ about 13 million workers. And finally, another statistic about women is that 50% of all the stocks in the United States are owned by women. Speaking of stocks, about how many dollars worth of stock investments are out there? Well, in the United States, we have about $30 trillion, and that's just 44% of all the stock investments in the world. What about all the money in the world? There's about $86.5 trillion worth of money. Apple's stock actually makes up over two trillion dollars of all the money in the world and Amazon stock makes up about one and a half trillion dollars. Now that you've learned about what you can do with a finance degree maybe one day you will work in a finance position at one of these companies. It helps just to have knowledge about finance so make sure to consider becoming a finance major at UTC. Finance and economics students have numerous scholarships available to them. Many are available to all business majors, but some are only for economics or finance majors. Our newest scholarships are for women.
who choose to study economics or finance. These are sponsored by the Trust Company of Tennessee and Chattanooga's Financial Executives International Organization.